everyone um welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to do uh, lasagna with vegetable so what you need so far you need your box of uh, lasagna and um sauce spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce some of um cheese your ground beef vegetable frozen one uh shredder onion and shredder red paper so let's begin okay so you know before you start your lasagna you have to get your ground beef prepared so what i did i open it and a little bit um just i open my uh ground beef and then i get a piece of my lemon and i put a little bit lemon on the on the ground beef i'm going to use my my favorite spice so i put just like uh i can say three or four cup no three or four um tablespoon of my season and then i'm going to uh, add some of my wet paper in some of my um onions i don't add all, all of it okay so what you're going to do right now you're going to add um two teaspoon of salt because remember this uh the ground beef is supposed to be really good for you to taste the lasagna so if you like hot sauce is the time to put it right now okay let me show you something this is my ground beef i don't put no water in it but when you put it on low fire it just give you let me show you it have um it become made of a, uh, just like oil without you put it in you see guys so what when you see it like that what you're going to do is is match up your ground beef keep leave it don't take off the water leave it don't take off the the sauce you make just leave it like that that's going to make it cook so you leave it like that make sure time to time you come in and you mash up the ground beef you don't need to be just like a um, meatball okay so you do that time to time until your ground beef is cooked okay you can see my ground beef is cooked I already tested is cooked so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to use the um, straight I'm going to take take off the oil. You can see this is the oil. I'm going to take it off, and then I'm going to get my lasagna, my pasta lasagna ready, and for me to start uh, cooking with you guys. Okay, you can see how how much of oil the ground beef make. You you guys have to make sure you take off the the sauce, the ground meat. The ground beef make because that's oil and then what you're going to do you use one of that uh, pot potatoes presser you use that one to mash up the the ground beef when it's cooking now what I'm going to do this is my ground beef I'm going to finish add the rest of my wet paper and my onion because the ground beef is still hot I'm going to put it right now okay this is my water what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to leave the water bowl and I'm going to add one teaspoon of oil and I'm going to add my, my uh, lasagna pasta in it and then that's why you put the teaspoon of oil because you don't want them to stuck together. Okay, you can see I'm putting my uh, lasagna pasta on the, on the water, on the bowl of water. And then let it cook um, and then after that I'll show you who, um, what you're going to do with it. Okay by the time my, um, my lasagna um, is raw right now what I'm going to do I'm going to get I'm going to get ready for uh, the meat, the sauce and the vegetable. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some of my meat. And make sure the vegetable don't have no water in it. And I'm going to put my vegetable in. So you have to do it uh, two times. Because if you do it one time, it's not all the meat not going to have the pasta sauce. And I'm going to I get my, my pasta sauce. I put on my meat. And I mix the meat, the ground beef, and I put more ground beef. My ground beef tastes good and smells good. Oh my goodness. If you don't like ve vegetable, so what you can do, um, you can't use um, you can't use only the ground beef if you like um, different vegetables just like uh, um, um, different vegetable guys so you can't add it and I'm going to put my rest of my pasta sauce this one this one is not strong enough And then if you find you got those uh, big piece of ground beef, what you're going to do is mash it. Okay, I got just like two things for the ground beef. So I buy two, so it's not matter. And then you get everything ready. Mm. My goodness. Okay, you can see my lasagna is finished bro. You don't leave it boiled too much. So you get those two pieces and then you take it off from the hot water. And then you put it on a on a um, cutting board. So you do all of it like that. Okay, you can see how I put my lasagna on the cutting board. So what you're going to do, you put some butter or oil on your pan. Um, now you're going to get your lasagna. If it's cut, that's okay, it's not a problem. Make sure you close it. Okay, and on the corner here, if it's too long, so what you're going to do is cut that piece when it's too long. Okay, what you're going to do now, you're going to need one of uh, that, uh, I call it louche. So what you're going to do, you're going to put your ingredient the one you mix okay when you put the first layer what you're going to do you're going to add some cheese okay when you're done right now so if you want to add a, a, um, just like cream cheese, you can put it right now. But I don't really like cream cheese, so I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one more layer on the top. What you're going to add right now, you're going to add more of uh, the sauce again I suppose to use the small fryer pan so what happened so I just thinking because I see I bought too much um, pasta
Okay. Now you're going to add the cheese again. I take a morning out of cheese, guys. So, so you do all of it, and then you add cheese. When you finish add cheese, you put the layer, and then you put uh, cheese on the top, and then you put it in the oven on uh, 360 to just like uh, for 25, 25 or 30 minutes. 